everybody. Welcome to the world's biggest Halloween party. This is Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Florida. By day, this is the home of King Kong and the Back to the Future ride, and so much more. By night, it's a park transform. During Halloween Horror Nights, Universal Studios Florida is ghoulishly different, so be very careful. Lest you stray into the many sinister traps designed to lure you into danger, your favorite horror film icons beckon you, tantalizing your curiosity until you think, maybe I'll be safe entering these chambers of fright. Among the monsters, the mayhem, and the living dead. <laughs> the horror here is state of the art. Hollywood caliber special effects, mind blowing pyrotechnics, laser projected nightmares, gallons of blood, slime, and decay, and even the simulated smell of burnt flesh. We virtually take this park and turn it into a Halloween experience. It's not one or two attractions within the park. It's the entire park itself. Oh my God, it was the scariest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Anything that really you have never confronted in yourself from a fear factor, we'll do here. We give you a pause to let your guard down, and then we hit you with the absolute last effect. It sends you running out uh, into the streets going, let's get in line for the next one. The creators of this hideous spectacle have spent months, even years, researching some of the world's biggest thrills and chills. For instance, some of the attractions have been inspired by the cemeteries of New Orleans with its rich voodoo lore. Not to mention Stage 28 in Hollywood, where Phantom of the Opera was filmed, and where the ghost of Lon Chaney has been known to visit. We start quite early. Uh, again, work from storylines, storyboards into the actual architectural drawings for the haunted houses, and uh, then turn those plans into technical documents that affect the air gags, and the propane, and wind effects, and lightning effects, and the storms, and then actually work to produce the three-dimensional sets that put you in the action. Terrifying? But of course. After all, this is Universal Studios. They've been scaring people since your grandparents were trick-or-treaters. Those classic creatures can still inspire modern-day nightmares. And so can the monsters they've cooked up, especially for Halloween Horror Nights. We have headless men. We have women that we call Renaissance witches that are part animal and part women. And we have about 70 other zombies and assorted creatures of the deep and dark. We use every element that nature provides us to actually affect a gag that will take people by surprise. There are bodies flying everywhere. So we decided to put together the mother of all effect shows. The mother of all effect shows? Surely he exaggerates. Then again, maybe not. You can shiver through the dungeon of terror, gape into the depths of terror underground, or fall victim to Beetlejuice himself. Horror films come alive in this house of horror. And then, just when you thought it was safe to come out of the water, you'll come face to face with your greatest fears, projected 45 feet high. That was fun. That was fun. Unbelievable. Or is it? What makes it so unnervingly realistic is the fact that we know it's an illusion, but you never know what's going to come at you from behind the scenes. I can go in rooms and have gone in rooms over and over again expecting the gag, but yet when it still hits, I still tense up. Like we promised, the treat is in the tricks. And we'll let you in on some of the more terrifying tricks and show you how they're done. Stay tuned for more of the world's biggest Halloween party. Right here on the Sci-Fi Channel. Look out. On these Halloween Horror Nights, there is much madness, but there are methods too, very magical methods. For months, 
artists, architects, and technicians at Universal Studios Florida have been working as hard as inhumanly possible. No tombstone is left unturned, no scar unstitched, no hair unsplit. We actually use every element of effect that Mother Nature can also provide for us in these haunted houses, and we don't wait for Mother Nature to produce those effects. We use every trick of the trade. We call all over the United States and sometimes even Europe to find effects that we want for Halloween. <clears throat> Universal Studios Florida uh, technical team produces Hollywood motion picture quality effects for each one of the experiences that the guests are going to be involved with. The House of Horrors. It's where visitors enter a maze of murderous mayhem, inspired by Universal Pictures' legendary movie monsters. Our goal is to make it as, as much like their nightmares as possible. The surprises are utterly chilling. You know, they say magicians never explain their tricks, except for the very greatest magicians who have total confidence in their ability to amaze you such as the confidence of the technical wizards at Universal. Universal House of Horrors, the main lobby. As you come in the lobby, the guests will queue up into this room. This is already on casters, so towards the end of the experience, they can roll this bookcase out and into the maze. So you go through this transition hallway, very dark, a lot of monofilament simulating spider webs, building that fear, and you begin to get a glimpse of the first room, the nursery. Next, we come into our asylum room. This is obviously the home of the criminally insane. We're gonna have a gentleman in here, in his chair, with only his table and the bare essentials, a head cage on, and he's gotten out. Unfortunately, he's found himself a victim. Now we enter into the Grand Cathedral. We're gonna have a special effects guillotine here. It will be mounted onto this area. And as you can see, it's pretty heavy duty and serious, so it has to be out of the guest's way. We're a little bit closer to the guests. You can see we'll have a little area in this corner where someone has been killed. And I can bring that experience a little bit closer to the guest by having them reach out and uh, feel that slime. Coming into Frankenstein's lab. You can see we've got a lot of rock work here as if you're down in a cavern. His lair will have Frank behind these bars once they're placed properly. Actually grab and open these bars to come at you. Chased out by Frankenstein, you're immediately confronted by a horrible execution. When you enter the terror underground, you know it's not really a New York City subway. You know that no demons dwell beneath the streets of Manhattan. But that knowledge cannot protect you. It's a simple formula. They distract you with familiar images, some of which are not the least bit frightening. And you start to think, well, maybe this won't be so bad. Big mistake. Now, I don't want to go out on a limb, but I estimate you'll encounter 4,000 pounds of dismembered body parts here at Halloween Horror Night, in addition to 475 decaying bodies and 600 gallons of scientifically concocted ooze. And that's only the indoor spectacle. Outdoors, the fears loom larger. <laughs> Welcome to the Knights of Hell. That's Knights with a K, as in evil night. Very evil. And projected 45 feet high onto a wall of water that's suspended on a lagoon engulfed by flames. This is a sound and light show you won't soon forget. The theory behind the water screens is you don't see the water when you're the audience. You don't see it well enough to recognize it as water. So when the image appears, it, is, it, it seems as though it appears from thin air. The lagoon has historically here been a, an effect show, and, it, and it, uh, it allows the potential for great effects. Action. 
decided the best way was to shoot it ourselves. And here we are at Universal Studios, and we have these fabulous sound stages. We moved into the sound stage for a couple of days. That's cool, man. That's very cool. Let's see. You have to continually factor in everything you're doing into the final show, so that when you get to that point, there's our man. It uh, looks like uh, we planned it. Nightmarish visions projected by laser, surrounded by water, fire live stunts, and pyrotechnic explosions. You think that's entertainment? Wait till you meet the people behind this grisly extravaganza as the world's biggest Halloween party continues right here on the Sci-Fi Channel. are forever fascinated by the forces of life and death. Now, historically, Halloween celebrates the mingling of the two. But during Halloween Horror Nights, death takes the lead. Living death, lively death, death in all its gory, gruesome, reeking splendor. And they've got plenty of characters to scare you to death. It's showtime! <laughs> <laughs> Here at Universal Studios Florida, they have something called Scarecters. <laughs> and like the name implies, they are actors whose sole purpose is to sneak up on you. <laughs> oh, and they do a good job. Some of them are, of course, the infamous Rat Lady, the girl in the coffin. Rat Lady? And we have about 70 other zombies and assorted creatures of the deep and dark. Rat Lady? These women line up wanting to be the rat ladies. The rat ladies want this job. That's what they want more than anything in the world. We have 100 rats that we put on you. And the part that's really disgusting is when they get really thirsty, they start to go for your corners of your mouth to get the saliva out. I'm the rat lady. <laughs> of course, all this is done with impeccable taste. How's that taste? <laughs> impeccable. Plus about 1,200 prosthetic pieces, 90 gallons of makeup and yards and yards of dilapidated fabric, plus a liberal use of insects, snakes, and rats. Some 500 actors will play their parts, lurking within the haunted houses, cavorting in stage shows, and prowling the grounds to scare unsuspecting visitors. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's just uh, a real rush to feel them all over you and try to keep them as motivated as you try to keep yourself. When it comes to horror, this is the big leagues. Hours in the makeup chair is just a warm up. For the devil in the nights of hell, there's also fire. Up with the fire, big fire. Underwater diving. Go! And flying through space. But at the end of the night, you gotta ask yourself, is it worth all this trouble just to scare a few people? <laughs> Apparently, yes. We stand in the dark recesses of the event and listen to what people react to and play on their fears. We just ask people a lot of questions about what scares you. The lady with all the rats was really cool. And then we put it into this place. Help me! You're me! We talk to people about what the human psyche is able to take, and there's such a fine line between laughter and fear that uh, we really walk that uh, edge of the fence. Some psychologists even theorize that being frightened can actually help your love life. When you're frightened psychologically, there are four chemicals that start flowing in your body. This cuddle chemical, there's another one, the love chemical, they're all now activated in your body. Love chemical? I like the sound of that. So you're more likely to grab the person next to you. Biochemicals that make us hug? What a nice fringe benefit. But the masters of horror here at Universal have been brewing some very different concoctions disgusting additives, so potent that they literally create an atmosphere of terror. 
If you've ever burned your finger on a stove, you get that smell of that flesh for just a moment. Uh, you carry that to the perfumer and say, here, we want to create this on a mass scale so that we can actually cook it in crock pots and then blow it through vents in the house so that as you walk into a cemetery or if you're faced with an electrocution and you see that uh, prisoner in that electric chair being uh, electrocuted, that you get the smell of that flesh uh, burning at the same time. So now that we know a bit about the making of Halloween Horror Nights, what would it actually be like to experience this titanic tribute to terror? Well, we have found a way to put you very close to the action. So get ready to be a part of the world's biggest Halloween party. As all sci-fi and horror fans know, movies and television can capture magic on film. But at Halloween Horror Nights, the magic is all around you. There was somebody on the floor, like, in ice and stuff, and all these people were jumping out all over the floor. It was so scary. I almost got cut in half. That bad wasn't scary as hell. That old guy's banging oh, on those God. doors and stuff. <laughs> I freaked out. <laughs> the old man got me. The old man got me. So how can you experience all this at home? With this, we call it the victim cam. And even though you're not so safe at home, you're about to get a taste of Halloween horror. Welcome to the Dungeon of Terror, a 470-foot long maze of twisting passageways and musty chambers of a decaying manor house, where an army of horrifying night creatures and madmen spring from the darkness at every turn. <laughs> actually scared someone to the point that when you see that body coming out of the haunted house, the rest of the people that are in line go, whoa, we're in for a really big ride. That was the best one out of all three of us. Scared! The victim cam is still with them, but what about their wits? Our guests are off to Terror Underground, all 236 feet of it. What you'll find about people is they, they're so scared that they start to laugh. Ah! Oh, you stand there and watch him come on out screaming hysterically, laying on the ground, and Jerry and I are like, yeah, we did a good job. Too scared! Too scared! Too really got her going. Now it's on to the price is fright to test your wits against Beetlejuice. Welcome to the midway of the bazaar, a cacophonous carnival of horrors and oddities. And now it's off to soundstage 22, where 450 linear feet make up the house of horrors. have a 21-year-old, uh, 185-pound guy drop to his knees and have to be carried out by his girlfriend. I've done my job. Excuse me. Ah, the magic of terror. And now the grand finale. 
when unsuspecting visitors confront what lurks deep below this lagoon, soon to surge up from the very depths of hell. What I would like to see is people reeling back from this image that's appeared out of nowhere, 35 feet tall, and there's the entire lagoon is on fire. And people are just like this, and they're like, they're, and you can see it in their faces, they're going, oh my God, is it real or <laughs> is it the movies? Oh my God. If I were to have someone who absolutely passed out in the house and had to be carried out by uh, the technicians and the characters in the house, I would go, yes! I almost messed my pants. <laughs> Scared! You'll never see me in these haunted houses when we are putting them together. Like at 10 o'clock at night, I won't walk through them. I go through only with effects, because I'm I'm afraid of the dark. <laughs> this year's experience will be beyond your wildest dreams, more intense than your worst nightmare. Thank you for joining us for the world's biggest Halloween party. We hope you found some of our tricks to be a treat. Hey, make sure you watch me every week on Sci-Fi Buzz right here on the Sci-Fi Channel. Until then, this is Mike Jarek wishing you a particularly terrifying Halloween. Now take a journey of the imagination, The Twilight Zone, next on the Sci-Fi Channel.